started on this beautiful top. Today I will be using a beautiful blend of cotton and acrylic and this yarn is by Hobie and it's called Twister Solid. I will put a link in the description to let you know how you can order this. Here you will see recommended hook sizes and how to care for your yarn. The color I'm using is right here. It's a red number 112. This is a very fine yarn so I will be doubling it. This ball is 400 meters long and I will be doubling the yarn, so you will need about 200 meters to do the small size. You will also need scissors, measuring tape, darning needle, and some stitch markers. I used a 4 millimeter crochet hook. Here I will show you how to do four sizes. These are easily adjustable for any size. I will be demonstrating today for the small size, but I will also show you how to do medium, large, and extra large. We are going to start by crocheting a simple square. This here is size small. After you've done your square, then we just continue with rows until we have our determined size. The square can also be started at the top of your cup and then doing the rows downwards. The small square is three inches. The medium is three and a half. You can see here how much bigger it is. Here is a different version with the size medium cup. And then the large, which is a four inch square. And here I made a rainbow version out of the size large. And then we have the extra large, which is a four and a half inch square. You can see here with the finished cup sizes how different they are. Once you've decided which size you would like, you will make two exactly the same. You will then decide, am I going to have the cup sit this way with your extra rows at the bottom or this way. Once you have made two, you can kind of adjust them around to see how they would best suit you. So here I'm just going to show you a little bit about the sizes. This one here being the medium and the large and the extra large. And you can see after you've made two and you put them side by side, then you'll see how you like them to fit. So you can have them look this way with the extra rows here, or you can actually turn it where the square is at the top and your extra rows are at the bottom. I hope I've explained it to you properly, so let's get started. I am crocheting the small size. Let's start with a slip knot. For the small, I started with the chain of 15. This is where you're going to have to measure to see what size best suits you. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we will insert our hook and do a single crochet. We will then single crochet all the way across. For the size small, I did 14 single crochet.
When you have reached the end, we will turn our work. We will then insert our hook into that very first stitch, right in there. And we will do one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. We are going through both loops of this single crochet. So inserting going through both. And here we have one stitch left. It can kind of be tricky at the end. Make sure you don't miss it. And that is our row two. We are going to repeat this second row until we have our determined size. So from here, we will just turn and start in the very first stitch and single crochet across. Of course, we want to keep going until we have a square. Always remember to have the same amount of stitches in each row. For the small size, I ended up doing 13 rows. For the medium, I did 17 rows, large, 21 rows, and for my extra large, 23 rows. Try to finish with an odd amount of rows. We have just finished our square. Here you can see the completed cup. So we have this section right here. And now we're going to do our rows to finish the cup. Starting from where you left off, we will turn. Again, we will start in that first stitch. And we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch until we reach the end. Here is our last stitch. So now we're going to do the same amount of stitches down the other side. We will start by putting one more in the corner. So we will have two single crochet in the corner. So now I need to make 14 stitches down the side. So here's number two, then three, and I will evenly space this until I get to the end. So I am counting that one stitch that's in the corner. So then each stitch to the corner is the same amount. So for my small size, I have 14 and 14, so it's 28 stitches. I will then turn and put one single crochet in each stitch. And then I will just repeat this. Of 
going around the corner, it's just one single crochet in each stitch. Continue with your rows until you have about double the size of your square. So my three inch square is now six inches by six inches. If you still feel it's a little bit too small, you can always add some extra rows. Here are my finished sizes. When you have finished, you can then just cut your yarn and pull through. We can now make our second one exactly the same. Now we want to decide which way you would like your cups. Place one on top of the other and then just turn it into the opposite direction. So this is how it will look. Here is where we have our continued rows. And this is where the square is where we started. You can also place the cup this way with the square of the start at the top, whichever way you like best. I will make the small red top this way. We will now work along the bottom of our cups. So let's just turn our work around. From here, we have two choices of how we can put the cup together. We can start with a chain and just determine this length here. As you can see, it works perfect for our small size. For more coverage, we will put our cups together like this. This way, we can do a side section that starts here for more coverage on the side of the cup. For our small size, I started with a chain of 15. If you need to make this longer, you can. We can then attach this chain to the cup with single crochet. So let's put one single crochet all the way across. For more coverage, of course, we will just start at the end of the cup, but we will continue with the same pattern. So let's put one single crochet in each stitch.
When you've come to the last stitch, we will put our two cups together. So insert into this last stitch here, pull up a loop, and now let's join the two cups together. We can insert into this one, and this is going into the first stitch. pulling up a loop, and then just yarning over and pulling through all three. And this brings the two together. So now continue with single crochet and make sure each cup has the same amount of stitches. When you have reached the end, we will do a chain 15 at the other end, but then we're going to add one extra stitch. So here at the end, let's chain 15. And now a plus one, and then we will turn our work to start our next row. Start in the second chain from the hook and single crochet all the way across. Here we are putting one single crochet in each chain and then one single crochet in each single crochet that's already attached to the cup. When you have reached the end, let's just turn our work and do another row of single crochet, one in each stitch. Repeat this single crochet row two more times. You should now have three rows of single crochet. I should have done this earlier, but let's weave in the ends of the cups.
Your top should now look something like this. This is the right side of the top. From here, we are going to chain two. We're now going to double crochet in the very first stitch. We will then chain one and skip one and do another double crochet. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way across. So chain one, skip one, and double crochet. I'll meet you at the end. We are now at the end. I still have one stitch remaining, so I will put another double crochet in that stitch. If your last double crochet ends in the last stitch, just be sure to put an extra one in that last stitch. We want to have two double crochets at the end of each row. From here, we will do a chain one and turn. For our next row, we're going to single crochet all the way across. So let's put one in each chain space and one in each stitch. So in the chain space and in the stitch. Continue all the way to the end. When you have reached the end, let's do a chain two and turn. The chain two will actually be your first stitch. We will then do a double crochet in the next stitch. So right on top, right there. We will then chain one, skip one, and do a double crochet. So now you can see here that each double crochet will be on top of the double crochet from two rounds below. As you can see here, they line up. Let's continue to the end of the row. We will follow this by three rows of single crochet. We will then do a double crochet row, three rows of single crochet, a double crochet row, a single crochet row, another double crochet row, and a single crochet row. You can make as many rows as you like. Mine was about 5 inches or 13 centimeters. Once you've determined the length, we will then do one row of single crochet around the entire top.
For the size large, I did less rows around the bottom. But from here, you will do single crochet stitches along the side. So on the sides, we're just going to do each row single crochet for however wide you would like it. And then we will start with a row of single crochet around the entire top, just like the size small. I've already crocheted along the bottom, so on our first corner, we're going to put three single crochet in the corner. We will then evenly space our single crochet on the sides. We will put one single crochet at the end of each row. So at the end of a single crochet row, we'll put one. And then this is a double crochet row here. So we will put one in here, because it's single, then two, then one, then two. So that's how we will put them on the ends. So in this one here, we will put two. And one at the end of the single crochet row. And two at the end of a double crochet row. Working into the corner stitch, again we will put three single crochet. Continue along the top with one single crochet in each stitch. At the corner, we will stop with one stitch remaining. In this, we are going to do a single crochet decrease. We will put two stitches together. Inserting into the one, pull up a loop. Insert in the one around the corner, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. So that has brought the corner, the inside corner, together. We will now do one single crochet on the end of each row along the top. I will meet you here at the top. So we have worked our way to the side, up the top, and now here at the point we will put three single crochet all into one stitch. So one, two, and three. We will then work our way down to the center here. With one stitch remaining, we're going to do a single crochet decrease. So grabbing that first one here, pulling up one loop, skipping the center stitch, and going across to the next one. So we're going to skip the center and go across, pulling up one loop, and doing our decrease. We 
We can then put one single crochet in each stitch until we reach the top of the next cup. So we will continue with our single crochet and we're going to work all the way up to the tip of the cup and we will put three single crochet at the top and then work down in the corner we will put our decrease and do our single crochet across the side and then our single crochet is evenly spaced until we meet you back at the beginning. When you have reached back around to the beginning, be sure you've got the three single crochet in each corner, and then we will do a slip stitch to join. Your top should now look like this. We will do one last row. We will have a decorative stitch along the bottom, putting loops at the sides, and then single crochet, decorative along the top. We will then do a strap. So we'll do a long strap, come back down to the center, up to the next top, do another long strap, come down decorative to the side, single crochet, our final loops, and then your top will be done. Working along the bottom, we're gonna start with three single crochet. So starting in that very first stitch, let's do one single crochet, two, and then three. We will now do a pico stitch. Our pico stitch will be a chain three, we will then do a slip stitch in the back of the first chain, so that very first chain. So you can see the back bump. We're going to go right into there. This will be a slip stitch. And then single crochet down into the next stitch. That is our three single crochet and a pico. Starting again, we've already got our first single crochet. So we'll do one more. That's two and three. Doing a pico, chain one, two, three. Slip stitch into the back of the first chain. And start again. Single crochet, one, two, three. Let me just get in there and three, and you can see how it's starting to look. So continue this all the way along the bottom. I have now reached the other side. On this side, I ended with four single crochet, but don't worry about it. The other side has three. You'll never notice it. So from this corner stitch, we will now do our loops. I will start with the chain two. and then skip two, and then I will do five single crochet and repeat. Depending on how long you made your top, this number may change a little bit for you. So just try to evenly space out your loops. Mine worked with the five single crochet and the chain two skip two. So here I have my bottom loop. Then I did a chain five, sorry, then I did five single crochet, and then a chain two, skip two, five single crochet.
and at the end of the row, I ended with a single crochet. So you can see my loops here. I have one, two, three, and four. I will make sure there's three single crochet in my corner. So that's two and three. And then I will continue with single crochet along this edge. Let's do another decrease in this corner. So putting these two stitches together. So here in the corner, grabbing one and then the other and doing your single crochet decrease or two together. So now I'm gonna work along the top and I will start with three single crochet. I'll meet you at this point. Here is my second single crochet and my third. And now I'm going to do the pico and then repeat. So chain three, slip stitch into that first chain, and then three single crochet. I stopped my last pico here and I just happen to have three more stitches to do. But you want to make sure your last stitch is in the center at the very top. So it doesn't matter if you have four stitches or even five stitches there from your pico, but have it somewhere between there. So here I have my last single crochet at the very top. From here, we are going to chain approximately 220 stitches, but it's gonna be about 50 to 55 inches or 127 to 140 centimeters. Once you have reached the top, we're gonna to work back down and we're gonna slip stitch into the back loop of each chain. So that little bump back loop right in there and we're gonna do a slip stitch into each chain. So working in the back bump and slip stitch. This will take quite a bit of time, but just be patient with it. Doing it this way into the back loop makes for a really nice strap. When you have finally reached back down to the beginning, we will do a single crochet into that same stitch that we started. Right in there for a single crochet. We then want to make our pico start the same as it did on the other side. So you'll see here I had one, two, three stitches plus then the stitch that I started with. So really it's like one, two, three, and then four. So starting with the one that I already have, I'm gonna do three more single crochets. So one, 
2, and 3. This should make it equal for both sides. So just have a look and see if it is the same. So from the pico to the next one. So here I will then start the pico. So the chain 3 and the slip stitch. And then back down for your single crochet. And then continue this pico until we reach down to the center of our top. Here you can see that it's nice and even. I have now come down to the center. If I do another pico right here, they'll be too close to each other, so I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to do two more single crochet, and then you can see I have three single crochet in the center. So one, two, three. I'm going to skip those and I'm going to do a chain one and then I'll skip those three in the center and then I'm going to go right over to the other side and do a single crochet. This should match up for, for each side so you want to make sure it's the same. On this side here I have one, two, three, four, five single crochet so I want the same on this side. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. I will then continue with my pico. The most important thing is that it's the same on each side. You might have to do some adjusting in the center to make yours correct. I will meet you back up here at the top. You can see that I have the same amount of stitches on each side and the same amount of stitches remaining to do the strap. If you have to adjust, do it here in the center. From here, we can do our next strap. So let's chain another 220 to make it the same as our first one. Then from there, we will start down with our other pico. I've come back down the chain and again we'll do a single crochet into that same stitch. Making the stitches the same on each side, I have my four stitches in here and I will do the same on this side. So this one here is number two, three, and one more. And again, here is where I will start the pico. Continue working down to the corner where you will put a decrease in the corner, single crochet along the side. I will meet you here to do our loops. We will start by putting our three single crochet into that corner stitch. We're then going to chain two and then skip two and start with a single crochet. And let's do five single crochet.
doing our next loop. There's one, chain two, skip two, and five more single crochet. When you've reached the end, we're going to do our final loop of chain two, skip two, and we're going to do our single crochet into the corner. And then a slip stitch to join. We can now cut our yarn and weave in all the rest of your ends. Thank you for watching. Please continue to watch to the end of this video to show different ways to make this top. You can really change it up to make it your very own. Thanks again for watching. See you again soon. Oh, and by the way, this is all I had left over. <laughs>